I mean, your risk factors for melanoma are certainly UVA, UVB, which are found in the sun and then sun tanning clinics. Your other risks would be having a lot of moles, so if you've got more than 100 moles, or some large congenital moles, which are moles you were born with. Having a large number of dysplastic or funny looking moles is also a high risk factor. Some people who have been on uh, chemotherapy uh, or, or they're immunosuppressed for other reasons, so that means they've got a low immunity, have got an increased risk of melanoma. There's a genetic disposition with some uh, melanomas. Um, age is a factor, so the older you are, the more likely you are to get, get one as well. And then even a history of childhood severe blistering sunburn, or say more than five blistering sunburns is also a risk factor. The other risk factor is fair skin, which obviously most people think about. With um, melanoma, 70% will be new melanomas, and then 30% will develop in a, in a current mole that you already have. So that's where I guess PhotoFinder comes in. It can maybe see those changes in your current nevi. Certainly squamous cell can skin cancers are very much a factor of sun exposure. So that can be chronic sun exposure, so long term. Basal cell cancers are possibly more due to the, you know, the blistering sunburn one episode. They're probably more associated with that. Fair skin again. There was a study done in Nambour um, some years ago, Nambour in Queensland. They applied sunscreen to a group of uh, uh, you know, subjects and some people didn't have any, any um, sunscreen. They just went about their daily life. I think I believe it was they did it over five years. They didn't find any increase in um, other um, comorbidities. So no one had increased heart attacks because of the sunscreen or other uh, morbidities like that. But they did find a decrease in skin cancers of the squamous cell type for those who are applying sunscreen. So it does, it is effective. This was in the short term, the five years, yeah.